I'm not gonna catch oh, you. God. <laughs> All right. Let's try it again. Take two. Hey, what's up, you guys? Cut. Yes. Cut. Is this a dramatic shot with my head half in the light? Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, I can't see shit. It's, the sun. it's not just like the sunlight. The sun is that. That there. is the sun. <laughs> Actually, is sun. No, no, where are you going? No, leave me not. I need something to eat my sandwich with. I'm hungry. I don't have a sandwich. This is literally the second sandwich in a row that you've made and not made me one. Because I like thin sandwiches. I don't know how to make them thick. Like You just like add more stuff in the middle. With two C's. Ham and cheese. <laughs> uh, don't push me away. Let the love in. Push the love out. <laughs> no! Peach, it's not your sandwich. It is her sandwich. Don't get what? not yours. Do not give her. She deserves some. No, she doesn't. Look how beautiful she is. That's just her appearance. Don't be shallow. She deserves the world. She's beautiful on the inside. She's okay on the inside. She's full of ham and cheese now on the inside. Every day I wake up in my mansion and I get fat grilled cheese in my hand. <laughs> We got to shoot with JLo. Ha, I can finally say it. We announced it today. Uh, the WAF School campaign that we've been teasing, uh, the teaser video dropped. We shot with JLo. Was she pretty? She was pretty. What did she smell like? Magic and hip hop. Do you want some cheese? Oh, no, you have to rinse <laughs> off. I rinsed it. I watched you put it directly into the dishwasher. I uninterrupted. rinsed it. I rinsed it. Stop shutting the love out. Can I fly that in your hair? Can I pierce your ear too? No. No, I'm not a toy. Ah! <laughs> My favorite toy. I want to play a game. Okay, what game are we playing? I want to play a game where you and I both perform a stand-up routine for each other in the other room. Whoever is the funniest wins. What do we win? A grilled cheese. My performance requires music. <laughs> Not ready. I haven't started yet. Do you like jazz? Do you like jazz? You like jazz? You like jazz? You like jazz? No. You like jazz? This is not stand up. <laughs> yes, it is. You like jazz? I don't like jazz. You like jazz? On occasion, but not really. You like jazz? Do you like jazz? <laughs> This is terrible. Hey, I got a question. Do you? Is it if I like jazz? Do you like jazz? What the fuck? Oh shit! Who are you fighting? Do you like jazz? Oh my god! You like jazz? <laughs> what is that? Do you like jazz? Oh my fucking god! Do you like jazz? When does this end? Do you like jazz? I don't like chess. <laughs> After all that, you don't like it? Give me an applause. Okay. That'll be $5. Uh, what? <laughs> no. I, I paid at the door. Aren't you Fran Solomita's son? No. The stand-up comedian? Wow, this, this guy's going to be funny. Take him out. Get Woo! Out Take your shorts off. Woo! Is not a show or a strip club, please. <laughs> what did the pilot say to the... The stewardess when we walked into the pilot, the cockpit. <laughs> what? Get out of the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not meant to be up here now or ever. <laughs> and she got a little upset by it, but it was the truth. I don't know whoever let her get that out of line, to be frank. Oh shit, this guy's funny. <laughs> and then he said, airplane food, am I right? <laughs> and he walked out of the airplane mid-flight. <laughs> So how do you become a pilot? He dated Mrs. Southwest, the head of Southwest <laughs> Airlines. <laughs> That's not a person. Her name is Mrs. Southwest. Oh. Her first name is East. Oh. She's all over the place. <laughs> What's black and white and sad all over? What? A zebra that's been captured. <laughs> oh my gosh. Taken into a zoo. <laughs> Julie. Sad. Knock, knock. Who's there? CIA. <laughs> CIA. <laughs> you worst nightmare. Who? 
Open up. Open up right now. The dogs are just watching you. It's the CIA. <laughs> boo. Don't boo me, I'm thinking. You I have no booed material. me. I have no material prepared. You, you said the same thing over and over. It's an improv show. I did not. They were different every time. I wonder if lemons feel jealous because they never get, they never get into the limelight. This man has no children and is such a dad. So then he pours the tequila on the floor. The bar owner says, why'd you do that? That's my tequila. And the man says, clean it up. <laughs> so the bar owner reluctantly grabs his rag. He comes over, he gets on his hands and knees and starts cleaning it up. When he realizes, he looks into the tequila and he sees his own reflection. And he looks up and he looks up at the sky and he says, what am I doing with my life? I'm cleaning up tequila off the floor. I hate my life. And then he looks back up at the man, and the man, the man's him from from earlier that day. He's on an enormous acid trip the whole time, <laughs> and there was no ever there was no tequila. <laughs> Do some physical comedy for us. How about airplane food? <laughs> Did you say how about airplane food? Sing us a joke. There once was a man in a barn. He lived there. It was cold, hay, and poop everywhere. He lived with cows in a barn. Cows in a barn. The cows hated him because he stole all their food. And he was a cow the whole time. He wasn't a human. He was just another cow. Thought he was a guy. Take my money. A girl stops breathing. She has no idea why. She just got her brand new accessories from Forever 21. And... She's running around not being able to breathe and her brother says, wait a minute, is that a choker? And that actually happened earlier. <laughs> that actually happened earlier. He says, wait, is that a choker? And her friend overhears and thinks he says, choke her. So she starts choking her friend. No one could really do anything about it. What happens when all the lights go off? What? <laughs> this fucking bow? What the hell? Nobody knows I'm where my heart went in the summer of 61. <laughs> it was dark out. Go on. There was a picket axe, pickaxe, stuck in the side of the house that was leaking air. The house needed to stay warm, but it was flooding out through that hole that the pickaxe was stuck through the whole time. The whole time, Abigail didn't know where that pickaxe came from. She's working it, trying to get it out of the wall. And finally, she rips the whole wall down <laughs> and then kicks in the door. Her mom wakes up from a slumber. What was that, Abigail, she says. Abigail says, shut the fuck up. I'm rehearsing for my play about the pickaxe. <laughs> it's tomorrow. Don't, don't do that. She says, go back to bed. The mother scurries back to bed. She rips the pickaxe back out of the wall. The other wall falls down. <laughs> Her dad wakes up this time. He comes out. Abigail, what is that? Oh, Abigail, shit. what's that noise? Oh, shit. Abigail. <laughs> he puts his hat back forward, and it's Abigail. They're the same person. <laughs> it was just Abigail's mom and Abigail. She hadn't let go of her father's disappearance. She pretends to be him. Anyway, the next day came and the play went horribly. She forgot most of her lines. There you were did. two friends. There were two friends. Both of them were under suspicion of creating a crime. <laughs> and they were and they were seeds. What? They were seeds. <laughs> they were in the ground, just doing their normal seed stuff, but one of them was dyslexic. <laughs> so then the cops came sniffing around, they said, we need to find the man who did this. And they went into a forest and dug themselves deep into the ground. Oh my God. Back flips back into the YMCA from the roof. Who Everyone looks up and says, there was no hole in the roof. What? How did he backflip into here? Meanwhile, there's an elderly basketball game happening. The score is one to zero after 45 minutes. Only one free throw shot has been made. Not a single two pointer or three pointer. The crowd is on their toes. Namely because they all have those old people shoes that puts the, the heel up a little higher so that they can stand better, so that they have to be on their toes. Everyone in the entire building is very old. They lost count of the candles at the birthday party, clocks winding down on their life, but also the game. 
Man. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Spins back in. We need to solve this crime. <laughs> he pulls his spherical wallet out of his pocket. He says, you're going to be a dad. He says, what? Papa New Guinea. Papa New Guinea. Oh my God. Papa New Guinea. <laughs> Good show. No, no, no. I don't want to. No. Who won, Julian? I think you won. Does the comments decide or do we decide? No, the comments decide. What? But you definitely won. All I, all I did was say you like jazz over and over. <laughs> that might win. You never I know. I was just trying you to get... You never know these days. I was just trying to get you going. You know what I'm saying? You did, you did your job. How did I do? 10 out of 10. All right. I would pay $100 for a floor seat to that. But I, I never want to see it. <laughs> You know? You would just pay. Yeah, I just, I don't, I really don't want to go. I don't have that kind of time, but.